quick, what's the first thing that comes into your mind when you see this image? Write in the comments. For me, this was a password. Um, well, it resembles the encoding in a password character, but spoiler alert, it's not a password. This is the general description for a cron job. And what's a cron job? How do we use it? Where do we use it? What do all of these um, stars mean? Well, I'm going to try to answer or to provide an answer which might help in the next video or in this video. So what's a cron job or cron expression? Well, it's a set of strings um, that define how often a job or an expression should run. It's separated into minutes, seconds, minutes, hour, um, day of the month, month, day of the week, and the optional character is for year. And this is really useful if you have a specific um, job which you want to run at a specific time or with a specific periodicity. Now, I'm not really good with these things, and because I'm not really good, I try to find uh, ways of helping me. There's always a tool out there, if you look hard enough, there's always a link which will provide the answer to your problem. You just have to ask the right question. But more on that in another video. So for this, whenever I want to run a cron job or want to write a cron expression, I go to this cron tab dot guru site. So you can see from the first thing or at the first glance that it's a little bit different than the general expression in the sense that it doesn't start with seconds, but it starts with minutes and it doesn't have a year. But in general, in general, this is the most standard way of writing the Chrome expressions. And not having to write a year is not a problem. As stated before, it's optional. So what do we have here? So we have um, one center panel where we can interact, or with which we can interact. And let's try to do something. Um, so let's try to say um, 10 to 15 for the minutes, um, hour, let's say any. Um, day, um, let's say number five. Five is always nice. Month, 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 month. We are in June, then let's do June. And the day of the week, uh, I don't know, let's do two. Uh, okay, let's do five again because I literally like Fridays. So this one will write will run every um, at every minute from ten through fifteen on um, the fifth day of a specific month on a Friday in June. So the next Friday um, or the next run for this would be on the twenty fourth of June because that's a Friday at 10 in the morning and you can already see um, based on which section we highlight it shows us what part or which um, section um, uh, does, does it correspond to so if i have here 10 the month 10 if i try 55 that will not work because a month doesn't have 55 days 28, um, yeah, remember this riddle, which month has 28 days? Yeah, all of them. Ha -ha. Um, so this is really good because, uh, like I said, I'm not really an expert in writing this. And because I'm not an expert, I always come here and validate my expressions and double and triple check that what I want is also what's what I'm going to see. Now. If you've never written this uh, Chrome expressions, don't worry, it's it's easy. Um, and that's why you have this um, this website, and you can play around with it. I mean, there's a couple of ways to play around with how I play around with it. On the first one, I do like random, and I do it. So I do random, and I don't have a look at the expression above, and I just try to say, okay. Now, when will this run? And then I say my answer or write it on a piece of paper and then I double check it. 
also there's a couple of uh, as you might see here a couple of options which are not in the standard uh, explanation so uh, if we want to do if we want a yearly job this is also possible as simple as this at yearly and it will run on the first day of the year so there you have it um, this is a really nice way from my point of view to practice your grown um, expressions have a look write in the comments what you think and as always thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye